Hi guys, this is a video about things you may not know about Simply Intertwine. One, how does Simply Intertwine actually start? Years ago, I think it was in 2011, um, I was at a friend's and she used to do like these knitting nights with her friend. And I kind of wanted to join, but I knew needle knitting wasn't going to work for me. So I went to Walmart and I found some looms, because Walmart is like the only like kind of craft place you can get stuff at in my town right now. So I went and picked up some looms, picked up some yarn, and just started doing it. And the next thing you know, it took off, and suddenly I was putting up a little bit of videos, and suddenly I was growing my channel, and it just kind of took a life of its own. So I guess I should thank my friend Sarah for kind of getting the ball rolling on this whole Simply Intertwine. Another thing you may not know about me is I was actually born in the state of Virginia. But that's not where I got my name, Virginia. I believe I was told I got it from a neighbor whose name was that. But it was always kind of funny growing up. People would be like, Virginia from Virginia. I lived there until I was about five, and then I moved up to, um, excuse me, northern New York with my aunt and uncle. So that's a little tidbit there. I was raised by my aunt and uncle versus my parents. Long story, I'm not going to get into Another that. thing you may not know about me is my favorite animal. My favorite animal is typically a monkey. Now, when I say monkey, I kind of mean the whole orangutan, gorilla, that kind of umbrella that falls under a monkey. I used to collect them like crazy. I had a whole bunch of stuffed animals, knickknacks, you name it. It was it was it was crazy. I've kind of pared it down. I still have a few things from my childhood. Um, not too much, but I still like monkeys. But I also shifted over to liking butterflies a little more, which I think is kind of interesting, especially over the past like four years or so. I've really kind of gravitated towards butterflies a little more and the whole idea of a cocoon and a metamorphosis and changing and things like that. So my daughter kind of affectionately refers to our new place as the butterfly house because I typically have some butterfly decor around. Another thing that you may not know about me is I actually suffer from a bipolar 2 disorder along with a generalized anxiety disorder. This isn't something I used to talk about, I used to kind of keep it hidden, but over the last probably year or so I've been more vocal about it online with family and friends because I think it's important. And I wasn't sure if I was going to share it directly with you guys this way, but I know that I'm not the only person that luminates that suffers from some sort of mental disorder. A lot of times I get friends and family saying, well, how do you do YouTube if you suffer from anxiety and that? And I tell them it's because I can kind of control what I put out there, and I can kind of take my time if I need to. If I'm having a bad day, I can take a breather, take a day off if I need to, and then resume stuff the next day, versus, let's say, quote-unquote, a normal job. So that's just something I wanted to share. And if you suffer from something like that yourself, let me know kind of tips and tricks that you do to kind of handle I have a few things I try to do, but it can get really bad. And that's another reason when I did that video a while ago that I talked about reasons why there was so much space in between videos. One of the reasons I don't think I mentioned that video was because of my anxiety and bipolar, because I was a little bit ashamed of it at the time and didn't want to make people feel weird that I was admitting I had something wrong. But I want to put it out there because I think there's power in kind of saying this is what I suffer from and I have good days, I have bad days. I know, mean, like I said, I can get physically sick from it sometimes and it does make it hard, but I'm working on it. So that's just something I want to put out there. For Another thing you may not know about me is that I'm actually only five foot, two and a half inches tall. And I, in my last video, I showed my daughter next to me and she's getting almost, I think, around my shoulder, past my shoulder. So I'm a little worried of how tall she'll be. Her dad is like six foot tall, so it's going to be really interesting to see where she falls. So I guess I'm relatively short, but not really, really short. So just thought Another weird thing you may not know about me is I actually had to sing in my senior play in high school. And I purposely made sure I wasn't even attempting to try to sing good. I just had some fun with it. I felt it out the song. I think it was Meet Me in St. Louis. And I know I could hear the audience when people would show me the tape later, the videotape, you know, back with VHS and all that, that people were actually laughing when I was singing, which was kind of my point. But I don't think I could ever sing like that in public again. Another thing you may not know about me is, hmm, let me think. What do I want to share here? I guess you could say I'm a naturally t messy type person. It takes a lot for me to keep things neat and tidy. I always tell people it's more like clutter versus, we'll say, garbage. Like, I, you won't walk into my house and think you're in hoarders. No, I'm not a hoarder. Um, but I do have a tendency with clutter, so I'm always trying to keep on top of it. And even right now, as I'm looking around, I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta take care of you, gotta take care of you. Um, and I like reading books upon it, and I like watching YouTube videos on decluttering and things, kind of like my little guilty pleasure type thing. So I'm always trying to get things out of my place. If I bring something in, I try to make sure I'm donating something out as well. 
it is still an ongoing process. I'm not as bad as I was. I have improved a lot, but I'm still got a lot. Another thing you may not know about me is my favorite style of music. Typically, when I want to unwind, I actually listen to country. I do like all kind of genres. As long as I can understand the words, I'll pretty much listen to it. But I would say when I need to relax, to unwind, I tend to lean towards country more. If you have a favorite country song, share it below and maybe I'll be adding it to my Another music. thing you may not know about me, I mean aside from the fact that um, I have a daughter, I did mention in my last video, we got a cat. So if you haven't seen that video where you heard the cat meowing, we have a cat. His name is Foster. He actually came from my friend Sarah, the same Sarah I mentioned that helped with kind of like the whole snowballing of Simply Intertwined. He, um, we brought him into our home. She had kind of a lot of pets over there and just a lot of stuff going on. She was feeling he needed more attention that we, my daughter and I, could give him. So we adop kind of adopted him a couple of weeks ago. We were still getting used to him being here and he's kind of getting used to it. So again, you may hear him meow in videos. I'm trying to figure out what time of day is the best to film where maybe he won't meow at the camera or something. But yeah, he's a cute little guy. Maybe I will tag a picture of him at the end of this video. So if you want to see what a cat looks like, stay tuned to the end and I'll have a couple pictures of him up and you can tell me what you think of him. Another thing you may not know about me is when I was growing up, I was very weird. If I went to a to like a restaurant and they had rolls, I would scoop out the inside. I wouldn't eat the outside of the roll. Very weird. I know. But that's just something random to throw out that's probably one of the weirder things about me. And I don't usually like butter on things unless it can be completely melted. So like I'm not someone that's going to pick up a piece of bread and butter it unless it's toast where the butter is going to melt. Yes. Another thing that's strange. Which related to loom knitting is I don't really necessarily have like a favorite yarn because a lot of the yarn I get is from family, friends that give it to me and a lot of it's the Red Heart brand, the basic one. That's why you always kind of see that in my videos. I don't stray from that too much because I don't have the other yarn or I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I do have some other yarn I do want to use in videos but I'm trying to also look up and make sure I know what it's called because again most of the time I use Red Heart and it's not that it's my favorite yarn, it's just that of what I have. So I think that's important, but if you have a favorite yarn, comment that down below and let us all know so we can all kind of get an idea of what everyone's favorite yarn is. Another thing you may not know about me is that I pretty much lived in my high school library. I loved to read, I read a lot when I was a kid, but when I started going through the anxiety in that, more so the last few years, I kind of lost my love of reading, which really was kind of sad because it was really something I always associated with me. I was the bookworm growing up. So I'm trying to get that back now, and, with, with, and what ties in with that that you don't know is I've actually published two books before, but sadly the publisher is no longer in business, so I'm not making any money off them, even if you were to find them. If you search my real name, which you kind of see on YouTube anyway, you probably see what they are, but again, if they're out there for sale, I'm not earning anything off those right now. But I am working on a new, um, excuse me, poetry book and hopefully a novel that I might release within the next year. So if you're interested in reading and you would like to know about when my public poetry book and that may be out, let me know because I may share that on Simply Entwined because again that's another kind of craft thing. And if you like to write, comment below as well. I'd love to get to know other writers that maybe like loom knitting. Excuse me, loom knitting. Another like thing is my favorite color. A lot of people kind of get this wrong because I actually probably don't wear this color that much even though it's my favorite color and that is red. As you can see, I'm not even wearing red tonight. But red is one of my favorite colors. It's kind of always been that way. I don't know what I really draws me to it besides being red. But again, I don't own a lot of red stuff. Like I don't own a lot of red shirts or pants or anything like that. My bedspread now is new and it's got a lot of red in it. I love it. So yeah, I'm kind of weird. Like I have a favorite color, but you really don't ever see me in my favorite color. Another thing you may not know about Simply Intertwine is that I never thought this would take off. Like when I started this a few years ago, I put a few videos up. I never thought it would lead to anything. And now, especially when I started getting anxiety, I was almost thinking about quitting for a while because I wasn't feeling like I could put stuff out there as good as other teachers could. And I started to doubt myself, which is kind of part of the whole having anxiety and the bipolar. I started to doubt myself a lot. But I found myself a little more and more. And I'm glad I didn't give up on living. It has been good for me to do things creatively. And I didn't realize how much having this YouTube channel and illuminating items would ever come to mean to me. And I want to thank you guys for that. If I wouldn't have had all the encouragement of you guys asking 
asking for new videos, wanting to see new videos, I might have stopped this a while ago. So you guys kept me going, and I just want you guys to know that. And have a great day, everyone. Hi. Oh, Mom. Alright, Alexis's turn. Yes. <laughs> no, you're not. You love me. My head is a pillow. Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> uh, Mom, he's yeah. also, like, touching my chest, too. Like, he was just, like... Um, I'm recording. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm going to do it again. He's like, you got to keep petting me. I need to get spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm lonely. <laughs> I'm lonely. Oh, you're lonely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.